Hey guys, what's up? So today we're uh, I'm gonna try to explain module scripts. So basically, what module scripts are is they're kind of like global variables. Like you have your local variables that you use in your scripts. Uh, module scripts are kind of local variables themselves. Um, well, I guess we can keep this dialogue GYF here for later. I don't even know why it's here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's actually insert a local screen GUI into the star GUI. And we don't need to call it anything. And let's just put a text button in here. Um, and anchor it 0 0.5 and then position 0 0.5 just for now and size doesn't really matter we'll just keep that for now um so yes yeah, so what this button's going to do is it's going to do stuff based off of a module script so, uh, what we want to do is we want to insert our module script into the replicate storage, or wherever you really want to use it, but um, in the replicate storage. So, the first thing you'll see is local module equals a table, and then return module. So, these are pretty much, well, these are pretty much all your variables. Um, the global variable is this module in the table. So yeah, we'll just keep this. Uh, we'll we'll get rid of the script part. We'll just rename it to module. And to add something to this table, what you would do? So uh, well, let's see. What do we want this button to do? Hmm. I think I'm gonna have the button just print the player's name or something simple so uh, let's just go back to here and we're gonna do um, module and then these little square brackets and then we're gonna do um, module and then you can name this whatever you want uh, we'll just name it um, print name equals function and then we're gonna do our brackets and then put an end and do an enter you know we'll put an enter so you have an end <laughs> obviously so this is our uh, function in our module script now you can store pretty much anything in this module script, not just functions. Uh, usually, I use it for, uh, as you've seen in my egg tutorial, I use it for um, storing just values and stuff. But you can use this for, uh, like this tutorial, we're gonna pretty much just print the player's name. So basically, we're just gonna, in this, we're just gonna get the player. So um, we're I guess we're just gonna do print player dot name so that's gonna be our function so if we go back to here and insert actually we'll just insert a local script into the text button uh, insert a script here we can do local rs equals game get service replicated storage and local module equals rs oh sorry i forgot i already forgot um so with modules you you want to um actually require the module instead of just like waiting for it or you know just finding it or something so you want to require the module now you would do rs wait for child um, module so now we're waiting for the module uh, so now we're going to do script.parent 
dot mouse button one click colon connect function and we're just gonna do module and then print name and then um, oh I forgot we need the player look player equals game dot players dot local player and then in these brackets we'll put the player dot name oh not not name sorry just the player because <laughs> we already have the uh, player dot name here in the module so basically what we're doing is we are getting the replicated storage and then requiring the uh, module script and then we're also getting the player so when you click the uh, text button it's going to go into this module and look for something called print name that we've defined here so it's gonna it's gonna um, you click it and it's gonna go to module and it's gonna go to print name and it's gonna do whatever uh, this print name is and we have the parameters as player and the players in uh, this fun this parameter too and all this is gonna do is print <laughs> so if we actually just test it and click play it should just print our name so there we go we can just print our name as many times as we want so this is so these module scripts are really useful for um, for a lot of things but if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe and if this video helped then definitely leave a like <laughs> and subscribe <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace out